Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. fine. I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> okay, I was having a problems with my computer, but I already fixed it. <laughs> okay, well, welcome to Pre Intermediate 3. It's good that you already have experience uh, with English classes. And well, as I introduce myself in the WhatsApp group, my name is Rocio Chicas de Gomez. And I will have the pleasure to be your facilitator this course, course pre-intermediate three. I'm going to share with you the class presentation for this evening class. Okay, the topic is talking about my favorite city. We'll learn about vocabulary for cities, describing cities and places. <clears throat> well, this is a little bit about me. I'm a teacher of English since 2014. And I work, I have worked in different places. <clears throat> and actually, or currently, I'm working with Invest Corporative. Well, you already know the guidelines that you have to follow the English course. <coughs> Sorry. It's important that you um, obtain the 80% of progress and grades in the evaluations and assignments to complete the platform and to come <coughs> also to comply with all the homework and topics and contents exercises that I will assign you. Okay, for example, in the week number one, this week, you have to complete section one and section two. Week two, you have to complete section three and midterm. Week three, section four, and week four, the section five and the sample. Remember that uh, we keep the silence button. Uh, unless you want to participate, you raise your hand or you open your microphone. Uh, you have to be on time for the class so that I can take the attendance without problem. Remember to also have your complete or full name in, in your camera, <laughs> with your camera on. Uh, active participation, chat, raise your hand and respect. Actually, I can see some familiar faces some of you were my students before. For example, Maria Jose Najarro, Luis, Miriam, Lorena de Najarro, the mother and the daughter. Hi, <laughs> teacher. Hi, good evening. I'm not sure about Juan David. No, it's the first time. Or were you my student before? No, the first time. Okay, so it's good to see you again. <laughs> Okay, nice. Uh, so I was telling you also about, okay, uh, the attendance, 80% of attendance, the platform, we start today. And well, for, for the students who are the first time with me, uh, we don't have classes on Wednesdays. Okay, so maybe this is new for you. We have classes Monday, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. So we have class on Friday, but we don't have class tomorrow. We don't have class on Wednesday. Okay? Just remember that. No class on Wednesday. Because teacher Rocio can't teach on Wednesdays. <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, that's it. So for the first lesson today, uh, you will listen to a conversation about a city with adverbs before adjectives are used. These are the activities we have, recalling previous knowledge, talking about my favorite city, 
conversation time and wrap up. So let's get started with the first one. Activity one. Okay, how much do you know about countries, cities, and nationalities? Oh, Jacqueline Vanessa, you, are, you were also my student before. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Okay, so, um, well, when we want to express the, where we are from, we usually use the formula subject, there to be, from, and then you say the country. For example, I am from El Salvador. She is from Colombia. But if we mention the nationality, we don't use from. We just say the subject, the verb, and the nationality. For example, she is Colombian. She is Salvadorian. Okay, so this is very important to remember. So right now, um, I'm going to share with you um, an activity in which you are going to remember countries, cities, and nationalities from around the world. So you can remember this vocabulary, countries and nationalities. So it's loading in a moment, you will see it. <clears throat> Sorry, Sandy. Okay. <coughs> So you are going to help me to complete uh, this with the countries and the nationality. For example, the country is Brazil. What is the nationality? Brazilian. 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 Okay, American. What is American? Country or nationality? Nationality. What is the country? United America, States. United States. Ah, the USA. The USA or the United States of America. Italian. Nationality. The country is? Italy. Italy. Okay. Turkish. Country or nationality? Nationality. Nationality. Yes. So the country is Turkey. Turkey. Okay. <laughs> the UK or the United Kingdom. Country. It's a country, and the nationality is British. 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 China. Country. Country. And the nationality? Chinese. 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 Okay, Portuguese. It's not. It's national. The nationality and the country is? Portugal. Portugal. Okay. Anna, sorry, I'm reading Anna's message. Ana Beatriz Martinez. Okay, Anna. You can contact the person in the group. I think it's Andy. No, sorry, it's Mauricio Jimenez. Write a message in the to Mauricio Jimenez. Okay. He will help you. Okay, Portugal, Portuguese. Spanish. Spanish. 
Spain. Is nationality or country? Nationality. Nationality. And the country is? Spain. 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 Okay, Argentina? Country. 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 The nationality? Argentina. Okay, Canadian? Nationality. Nationality. And the country is Canada. Canada. Three? Nationality. The country is great. Great. Australia? Country. Australian. Poland, the country, okay. and Polish okay. is the national. national. Okay. Okay. We are going to check the answers. Very nice. Good job. Good job. So we practice vocabulary for countries nationality. Okay. Why? Because as I was telling you, <laughs> uh, we can mention where a person is from using this structure. We are going to practice. Um, I'm going to say a name. I'm going to mention some of you, and you will give me an example using from okay? in a country or a city. For example, uh, you can say Messi is from Argentina. That is an example. Shakira is from Colombia. Okay, so let's see Geraldine Lisset. Present teacher. What is your example? Using a person, the verb to be, from a country or city? Country. As you can see in the slide, an example. My example okay. was, Messi is from Argentina. Okay. Uh, Robert De Niro is from United States. Excellent, Geraldine. Good job. Okay, let's see. Milagro de la Paz. I'm here, Miss. What is um, your example? My example is Celine Dion is from Canada. She Excellent. is Canadian. She's Canadian. Very good. Yeah. Maria Jose Najar. Present. My example. My example is Robert Pattinson is from the United the United Kingdom. He is British. The one from Thailand. Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> okay, thank you, Maria Jose. Let's see uh, Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Your example. Steve Jobs is from United States. He's American. He's American, yeah. Oh, he was right because he's there. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. Emilio Acevedo. Emilio. Okay, maybe while he opens the microphone, Stephanie Quintanilla. Okay, Jaylo is from USA. She is American. That's correct. Juan David. Excuse me, Jose Saramago uh, is from uh, Portugal. He is Portuguese. He's Portuguese, okay. 
Ingrid Maricela, Maricela Flores. Here, teacher. Your example using the country and the nationality. Let me see. Bruno Mar. He's Hawaii. He's from Hawaii. Hawaii. Yes, the nationality is South America. He is American. Okay, he's yes. Hawaiian. <laughs> Julio Alfaro. Ronaldinho is from Brazil. He is Brazilian. Yes, good example. Okay, thank you so much for your participation. Thank you so much. Okay, excellent. Let's see. I'm going to take the attendance, guys, because I haven't. But meanwhile, you can taking more examples using the structure she or he is from. You say the country or the city. And then you just use the verb to be to say the nationality. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm going to take the attendance. Please say present for here. Um, just give me a moment, please. It takes some time to load. Okay, the first person in the list is Aleida Marilyn Gomez. Are you in the class, Aleida? Yes, yeah. Okay, thank you, Aleida. Alvin de Jesus Cuchilla. Ana Maricela Vázquez. Not present. Ana Silvia Joachín de Escobar. Sorry, this is not the list. Excuse me. I was I was taking the other the other group up from nine to ten. <laughs> okay. I but yeah, we have an Aleida. <laughs> Aleida Samira Guadalupe Melgar. Present teacher. That's why you said present, right, Aleida? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Eh, Ana Beatriz Martínez. Ana Beatriz Martínez. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Ana. Andrea Esther Acosta. Andrea Esther Acosta. Brandon Steven Gómez. Caleb. Me, Ariel. here. Tuve problemas con el, el equipo. Yeah. Okay, Caleb Ariel. Present. Thank you, Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Efraín Emilio. Okay, Emilio. Geraldine Lisset Villera. Predator. Hebel Virginia Tobar de Castaneda. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Irma Adriana Segura. Present teacher. Oh, Irma, good to see you. Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Juan David Madrid Men Meléndez. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Jose García Méndez. I'm here. Julio Cesar Alfaro Bonilla. Present teacher. Kevin Josías Flores Barrera. Present teacher. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar. Present teacher. Ok. Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Present teacher. María José Najarro. Present teacher. Mary Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Okay. Mirna Janet Landos. Okay. 
Mirna Janet. Presentation. Okay. Presentation. Thank you. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am, Miss. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Um, who said here, Miss? Ah, oh, Andrea Estera Consta. Okay, um, Nelson Adán Cerón. Patricia Esmeralda García Funes. Present, teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present, teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Corea. Oh, I forgot to mention Patricia Esmeralda García. Patricia Esmeralda García Funes. Present, teacher. Okay, Patricia. Sandra Lisa Hermosa de Polán. Mi teacher. Present, okay. teacher. Thank you. Eh, Stephanie Abigail Quintanilla Valladares. I'm here. Did, uh, did I mention Sandra Corea? Present. Ok, Sandra. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present, Miss. Ok. We have a lot of Sandras. One, two, three, four Sandras. And three are Sandras Elizabeth. Ok. A mí no me mencionó, teacher. Soy una de las Sandras. Ok. Sandra Elizabeth <laughs> Rivas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Ok, I have only two people absent today. Brandon Steven Gómez and Geraldine. No, sorry. Present. No, Geraldine, yes, right here. It's Evel Virginia Tobar. Not in the class? Ana Beatriz, this is pre intermediate three. Ana Beatriz, should you be in this class? Or in another one. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Well, as I told you, we are going to learn vocabulary for uh, describing places. In this column, you can see some uh, positive adjectives. And in the other column, column B, you can see the opposite, negative adjectives. You are going to help me to match the one adjective uh, to their opposite. For example, what is the opposite of beautiful? Ugly. Ugly. Okay. Beautiful. beautiful and ugly. Okay. Cheap. Expensive. Very nice. Cheap, expensive. Clean. Dirty. Dirty. Word is clean. I don't have. We cannot. We have another verb. Another adjective. Polluted. Oh. Interesting. Boring. Boring. Quiet. Noisy. Excellent. Noisy. Relaxing. Stressful. 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 Safe. Dangerous. 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 Spacious, crowded, crowded, crowded. Okay, can you think of other adjectives? Tall. Um. Okay, for places. For places. Big, small. Okay, big, small. Another adjective. Fast. Pretty. Horrible. <laughs> Pretty and horrible. Good. Can you describe places you know using these adjectives? What can you tell me about places in El Salvador?
The beach is beautiful in El Salvador. Okay. Uh, beaches in El Salvador are? Are beautiful. Are beautiful. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. What can the you pupusas, say? The pupusas in Olocuita are uh, delicious. Okay, nice. Thank you for your example. What about using the adjectives noisy, polluted, stressful, quiet, relaxing? San Salvador is stressful. <laughs> yes, you are right. Mountain in El Salvador are relaxing. Yes, mountains are relaxing. It's like down in yeah, San Ignacio. Very good. The center yeah. of San Salvador was dangerous. El Salvador was dangerous. <laughs> and the traffic is stressful. Very good. Okay, thank you for using the adjectives. Now over here you will see guys a conversation between Eric and Carmen. Um, I need two volunteers to read the, the conversation. Andrea said you will be Carmen. And we need another person. A second volunteer, that is Maria Jose. Okay, Maria Jose, you will be Eric, so you start. So, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Whoa, I've heard that a really nice city. Yeah, it is. Uh, the water is great, and there are some fantastic beaches near it. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Price are are very reasonable. How big is how big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's not too big. So it sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Thank you so much. Um, Andrea stating Maria Jose. So they are talking about a city. What is the city? San Juan, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Is their opinion positive or negative? Positive. It's positive. Yes. We are going to. Can you tell me what words they use to describe the city? One word. A, a, a nice city. Okay, that's a really nice city. Okay, what else? The weather is great. great. The, the, beaches, the weather cojano. is great. Claro. <laughs> Be careful with the microphone. We are listening to your family. <laughs> okay, uh, the weather is Fantastic great. Fantastic beaches. And there are some fantastic beaches nearby. It's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. It's a, it's a fairly big city. It's not to be. Okay. Not to be. A lot of description, affirmative and positive descriptions. If you notice, they are using adjectives, for example, nice, great, fantastic, expensive, reasonable, big, and not to be. And with these words, they are also using another word. For example, before the adjective, they are using really, really, very, very. pretty, very. Fairly, fairly, 
to. Big, big también. Okay. Big so city. we have the adjective nice, but before the adjective we had a word, really nice. Very expensive. Pretty reasonable. And fairly big. Not too big. These words before the adjectives are called adverbs or interjections. Adverbs. Adverbs before adjectives. And they give or they are placed to give emphasis. We use them to give emphasis or intensity to the adjectives. Is it the same? They are delicious and they are very delicious. A berry gives you more intensity. Or for example, it's really big. It's, big. it's big. It's really big. Or it's beautiful. So it's pretty beautiful, right? So those words gives you more intensity or more emphasis. We use for that. To emphasize. To emphasize, exactly. So we can see here in the grammar box, adverbs before adjectives, we have these examples. Punta Cana is really nice. It's a really nice place. It's fairly expensive or it's very expensive. It's a fairly expensive destination. It's not very big. It's not a very big city. New York is too noisy and it's too crowded for me. And when we use to, we usually use to with negative connotation. Okay, to is with negative connotation. So we can use the adverbs to, extremely, very, or really, pretty, and fairly or somewhat. <clears throat> okay, we can use that adverb too. Fairly or somewhat. Somewhat. So, what is the structure of the formula? Subject plus verb to be plus the adverb plus the adverb. <coughs> And look at the examples. Driving in San Salvador is really stressful. Walking at night alone is too dangerous. Walking at night alone. Buying in San Salvador is pretty cheap. If you buy in downtown San Salvador, it's pretty cheap. It's cheaper than buying in shopping, right? So those are the examples. You can take notes of the example sentences, right? Remember other and then the adjective. Really, two, and three. <clears throat> Okay, can I go to the next slide? Can I pass to the next slide? Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, here we have some uh, statements and questions. Uh, we are going to match the questions with the answers. Let's see, for example, what's so like? Is it an interesting place? What is the correct answer? Here, see. 
di uh, aha Are you sure? What do you like? Is it an interesting place? Means maybe B. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Teacher, letter, letter C, letter maybe? C. Letter, C. letter C for me, teacher. You think it's letter C? And, okay, let's read the other questions. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Your hometown is the place you were born. Hometown. For example, my hometown is Ilopango, but now I live in Los Planes de Renderos, but my hometown is Ilopango. Letter D. Letter D. Okay. <coughs> Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Letter D. Not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Good job. Number three. What Sydney like? What Sydney like? I never been there. Letter, letter A. Letter A. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Very nice. Number four. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Letter B. Letter B. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large, extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. What's the weather like in Chicago? Letter C. Letter C. Ah, this is letter C because it's talking about the weather. It's really nice in the summer, but it's too cold for me in the winter. So what is the number one? E. Letter E. 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 What to like? Is it an interesting place? Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. <laughs> okay, very nice. I would like some people to read a co the conversation the question number one and another person the answer. One person read the question and the other person read the answer just for practicing speaking and pronunciation. I have 29 participants. You know, I hope different participants, volunteers. Yeah. The first one, teacher. Hey, let's see who is talking. Milagro. Oh, Milagro. Okay, Milagro. It's because I'm sharing a screen. I cannot see who is speaking. Okay, Milagro, you make the question. The first one. You, you all the questions, okay. you, but you wait for the answer. Maybe Valeria can read. Valeria del Carmen, can you read the answer? Okay, Milagro. You read the question. Valeria reads the answer. What's a Ula? It is an interesting place. Yes. It has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Very good. Continue with question number two. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved 
away. Away. That's why I moved away. What is Sydney like? I've never been there. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has great harbor and beautiful beaches. Have you ever been to Sao Pablo? <coughs> yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love, I love it. It has excellent restaurant. What's the weather like in Chicago? It's really nice. In the summer, but it's to call for me in the winter. Okay, thank you so much, Milagro and Valeria. My pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so let's see. Now it's time for practicing. Okay, I have these questions and please think about the answers. What's your favorite city? Oh, my favorite city is Ataco. My favorite city is Los Planes de Renderos. My favorite city is Apaneca, etc. Why do you like it? I like this city because the weather is pretty nice or because um, the city is, is really interesting and etc. What's the city famous for? You can say why. What the, the city is famous for? It's famous for their delicious food. It's famous for their cold weather. Have you ever visited? Visited it? You can say yes, I have, or no, I haven't. How do you get there? You can say you get there by bus, you get there by car, you get there by moto taxi. <laughs> I don't know, <coughs> or maybe walking. So let's copy the questions and give an answer. I will send you to breakout rooms and you will practice uh, asking and answering these questions, okay? So right now, try to, to complete the, the statement. Okay, ready? I hope so. If not, I will send you in WhatsApp the, a picture of the slide with the questions, okay? So right now I will send you to break rooms and you will have the opportunity to practice your English speaking skills with other participants. Please go to the rooms. Hola, este, no me quedó muy claro lo que íbamos a hacer. 
Ah, es que vi en unas preguntas, ¿verdad? Que, por ejemplo, ya le digo. Ajá, la actividad 3 dice las preguntas. Uh -huh, ya le digo, permítame. Ahorita le digo, solamente voy a mandarme la imagen al otro teléfono. Porque no nos la voy a notar todo. <ríe> Oh, that's a that's a famous picture of me. A uh, funny. That's a funny picture. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. The important thing is to practice. The question one is, what's your favorite city? Uh -uh. And I can. I can answer my favorite city is Apastepeca. And the second question is uh, why do you like it? I like this. It's famous for the church in the lagoon. Okay. Have you ever hit it? Yes, I have. How do you get there? You get there by car or bus or okay. motor taxis. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite city? Uh, I, I I would like to 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 know Apaneca. <laughs> I I have never uh, out the San Salvador, okay? <laughs> okay. I have never. Why do you okay. like it? Uh, it is uh the weather is uh I think it's uh fresh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And well, my favorite city is the San Santepeque because uh -huh. there are pintoresco, no sé cómo es pintoresco, and it's famous for the largest alfombra, la alfombra más larga que hacen ahí. Mm -hmm. The largest carpet. Um, largest. The largest okay. carpet. The largest carpet. Um, Pinterest. Um, is Pinterest. Okay. Pinterest. 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 Yes. <laughs> continue. Continue. Okay. Um. Ya me perdí. I visited um, once a uh, year. Um, when I, when I, no, how do you get there? I get um, by car, by driving a car. Okay. That's it. Okay. Why do you like it? Do you like? Yes, why do you like it? I like the lago. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, you like the you like this um uh City. Yes, yes, I like. Okay, why? Uh, because uh, the views are very pretty. Okay. And What's... the place, the restaurant are delicious food. Interesting. Okay, what's the city famous for? 
It's famous for for a big lake. Okay. Have you ever visited it? Yes, I have. Okay. How did you get there? Um, In, from San Salvador. <laughs> from Salvador. You get there by um, a car or a bus. Um, in the bus, you take uh, cien, maybe 108. Okay. Or 201 para... Famous for... Um, it's famous for the carnival of San Miguel. Okay. Have you... Have you ever visit, visited this? Yes, I have. Okay. How do you get there? Uh, you get there by bus and car. A lot of car. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no sé si una de ustedes gusta preguntarme. Entonces mantengo comunicación con ellos. Uh -huh. Ah, está okay. ¿Qué plataforma, David? Ajá, sí. ¿Qué, ¿Qué plataforma? No, en, en Facebook. Tinder. No, Facebook. <risa> Facebook. <risa> Facebook. <risa> Facebook. <risa> Facebook. Uh, yes. David, ¿yo Tinder? No. <risa> It's Facebook. It's It, only friends. It's only friends. <laughs> yeah. Duolingo. Okay. Oh, Duolingo. Bueno, bueno, chicas. Bueno, sí. Okay, bye. Okay. Good. I I could see you were having a good time practicing your speaking skills, your English, talking about your favorite city. I would like to know somebody's opinions about your favorite city. Yes, only one. I have 29 students connected to <laughs> Juan Jose Garcia. <coughs> yes, Juan Jose? Okay. My favorite city is La Laguna in Chalatenango. Uh, I like this city because your climate fresh. It's famous for your big mountain. Mm, yes, I have often. Um, you get her by car or by bus. Very good, Juan Jose. Okay, is it in Concepción que Saltepeque? Uh, es como un poco más allá. Es más adelante de, de, de Concepción que Saltepeque. I have been in La Laguna before. Yeah. It's, it's a very high mountain. Yes, it's big mountain. Uh, it has beautiful uh, landscapes or views. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Juan Jose, <laughs> thank you for sharing. Is there another person? Let's see, Stephanie. Okay, my favorite city is Visuta. I like this city because. The weather is really nice. It's famous for the tours and waterfalls. And next question, yes, I have. And you get there by cars and bus. And the waterfall along walking. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for your opinion. Yeah. Lorena de Najarro. Okay, my favorite city is Sapaneca. I like this city because it's fresh, cool. It's a famous for uh, festival paroles, or parolitos festival, I don't know. Uh, yes, I have, and you get there by car 
or bus or bus. Very nice. Thank you, Lorena. Okay, thank you people for your participation. We are going to finish with the last a uh, last listening activity. Describing hometowns, you will listen to Ave and Christopher talk about their hometowns. What do they say about them? Choose the correct words. Well, Abby's hometown, try to listen to see if, if it's a fairly or not very large town, somewhat or extremely beautiful, pretty or very cheap, quiet. Christopher's hometown, really or fairly a stressful place, pretty crowded or too crowded, not very clean or extremely clean and expensive. So you have to listen to what they, what are the words that they use to describe their hometowns. And just, I need to make a change here so you can listen. Give me a moment. Part A. Listen to that? Abby and Christopher talk can about their hometowns. What do they say about yes, them? Okay. Choose the correct words. One. So tell me about your hometown, Abby. Well, not many people live there, but it's actually a fairly large town. It has some large farms, a river, two lakes, and even a mountain. Do you like those kinds of things? Oh, yes. I love nature. I think it's extremely beautiful. And the fresh food from the farms is delicious. Is it an expensive town? No, it's very cheap. It sounds like a great place. It was okay growing up, but I couldn't live there now. Really? Why? It's too quiet for me. I've lived in the city for a long time now. I like to hear the sounds of cars and people and things around me. Two. Where did you grow up, Christopher? I grew up in a city, so I guess you could say my hometown isn't really a town, it's a city. For me, it's a really stressful place, though. Why do you say that? Well, for one thing, it's too crowded. The streets and the subways are full of people day and night. Really? Is it a polluted place? I wouldn't say that, but it's not very clean. Like many cities, I guess. Right. And like many cities, it's somewhat expensive. My parents still live there, and they always talk about the high prices. Very good. So, could you hear what were the words that Abby used? Uh, fairly. Uh huh. Yes. She said a uh -huh. uh, fairly, it's a fairly a uh, large uh, town. Then uh, she said yeah. that is it's extremely it's beautiful. beautiful. And it's very cheap. Very cheap. Very cheap. Very cheap. Christopher said that his city is quite really very quiet teacher. Uh -huh. Really stressful. Okay. Very quiet teacher. Quite. Uh huh. It's a really or fairly? Yes. Really. It's a really stressful it's a place. Really stressful place. Really. Yes. And then he too said crowded. it was too crowded and, mm -hmm. and not very. Not, not very. Clean. Exactly. Not very. Not very clean. Someone expensive and so somewhat expensive, like more or less expensive, right? Somewhat, somewhat expensive. Uh -huh. Very good, good listening skills. 
Okay, time. It's time to finish the class. Wow, I like time to go. Thank you for connecting to the class. Tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, Thursday, we are going to continue with practicing the adverbs before adjectives. I hope you have a beautiful night. See you on Thursday. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.